Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing such a highly requested recipe on my channel. I'm going to be sharing my recipe for this refreshing and delicious sorrel recipe. Now, sorrel is highly associated with the holidays in any Guyanese or Caribbean household. However, I'm going to be sharing it for this summer before the holiday season just because it is so refreshing and perfect for this hot weather. Today's recipe is being sponsored by Sugrims. I will be using the cinnamon sticks and the cloves that Mr. Sugrim gave me to use in my recipes. Now, Sugrims is far more than just some spices and pepper sauces. They have a whole wide array of different items, and it is all started by Ron Sugrim, and he is a wholesaler of vegetables and nursery plants by trade, but he also sells all of these bottled and pre-made items. Now, before I get into this video, if you all wanted to purchase fresh vegetables, such as tulsi, hot pepper, karaila, bora, poibaji, okra, peppers, cucumbers, banana plants, other herbs, tomatoes, bok choy, and many, many more, please go ahead and contact 201-772-2201 or ron underscore sugrim at yahoo.com. As per the usual, all of my ingredients and the proper measurements will be left in the description box right below this video, so make sure you check it out before you put this recipe together. The first thing we're going to start off by doing is boiling a pot of water. Into that water, we're going to be going in with a couple pieces of cinnamon. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, this Ceylon cinnamon that Ron gave me to use in my recipes is very potent. So you do not need to use a lot. And I'm not making such a big pot of sorrel, so you don't need to use a lot as well. Just crush it up and put it in that water. At this point, I'm also going to be going in with some cloves. And these cloves are from Sugrims as well. They are a product of Sri Lanka and they are authentic Ceylon cloves. I'm only going in with about five or six because again, they're very potent. I'm also gonna be going in with a couple pieces of pounded ginger. All I went ahead and did was I washed it very well, pounded it, and I'm adding it. This next part is optional, but I'm gonna be going in with a small piece of orange zest or the rind. Now, if you wanted to use lemon in this, you can also do that. It just depends on your own tastes and your preferences. And now at this point, once everything boils up together, I'm gonna to be going in with my sorrel. Now, if you have fresh sorrel, go ahead and use it because I'm sure the taste would be even better, but I only have the dried version to date. So all I did was as soon as it came out of the package, I went ahead and rinsed it off really quickly to get off any grit or debris, and then I added it into my pot. All I'm gonna do is let this boil on a medium heat for about five to 10 minutes, just so this way everything can steep into that water very well. After about five to 10 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and cover your pot, turn off the heat, and you're gonna leave it to cool overnight so this way all of those flavors can steep and marry together. It is now the next day and my sorrel has had a chance to go ahead and steep overnight and soak very well. If you wanted to leave it longer for maybe two days, three days, whatever the case would be, you can definitely do that. It will give it a stronger taste. But at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and strain the amount of sorrel that I wanna use. And by straining it, you're gonna get out any extra pieces of cinnamon or some of the sorrel pieces that might be floating around. So once you strain the sorrel concentrate mixture, you're gonna go ahead and work on the sweetening mixture for it. So in a little pot here, I'm going in with some sugar and I'm also gonna be adding in some water. All I wanna do is heat this up until the sugar dissolves with the water. You're making somewhat of a simple syrup here. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can add sugar straight into the sorrel concentrate and mix, but by doing it this way, it'll just mix in faster and dissolve faster. So my sugar has melted and now I'm gonna show you how I mix my sorrel together. So in a large mug or a pitcher, I went in with a little bit of ice and I'm gonna be going in with all of that sorrel concentrate that we just strained off. Now I'm only using about half from my pot. I save the other half, which is still unsweetened. So you can make that up at another time and just sweeten it when it's ready for use. And at this point, once you get the concentrate into your mug, you're gonna go ahead and add in your sugar or your simple syrup mixture, and you're gonna stir it. Now this is purely based on taste. Some people like a very sweet sorrel and some people like a not so sweet sorrel. I like mine in between. So I went ahead and I added in sugar syrup gradually until I got the taste that I wanted and you're gonna have to do the same. But this is it. This is how quick and easy it is to make sorrel at home. Again, if you had the fresh flowers, make use of those. But if you only have access to the dry, this recipe is so easy. Once again, I wanna thank Ron over at Sugrims for providing the cinnamon as well as the cloves to put this recipe together. Let me tell you all something. The little bit of cinnamon and the little bit of cloves I use in this recipe, they were so potent, they were so flavorful, and they gave the recipe such a smooth flavor, and it was absolutely amazing. If you want Ron to mail you some of these dried items that I showed you, 
or if you want some fresh vegetables or herbs from his farm, you can go ahead and contact him. I'll leave his number and email right here and in the description box, and you can get some of these great products shipped to your door. Once again, if you go to your local West Indian store, you can find the Sugram products there. If you can't find them, go ahead and give him a call though and he'll send them to you. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe today. Please go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and drop your comments down below. Stay tuned for the next recipe where I use Sugram products. Bye everyone.